In this video, we are going to discuss about discrete probability distribution. Before discussing about discrete probability distribution, we'll first we will see what is random variable. A random variable is a real valued function which maps sample space to a real line. That is, when the sample space is defined, for each sample space, whatever events we are taking, for that events we have to map to a real value. So, this is the real value. So, we will define each and every event to a real value, which is a random variable. For example, if I am tossing two coins and I'm considering the event as getting heads. So, I am considering the event as getting heads when we toss two coins. First, we will write down what is the sample space. So, the sample space will be two heads, two tail will occur or one head then tail or tail head will occur. So, when we toss two coins, the sample space is two heads, two tails, head tail and tail head. Now, for this one you have to write the random variable. So, this is the sample space we have. Now, we have to map them to a real value. So, when I am taking the event as getting head, so what can be the random variable x? I will define x as the random variable and the random variable values will be when I take two tails that is getting no head at all will be 0 and in this case one head is there and even in this case also one head is there. So, there is a possibility of getting one head and when I take two heads, there is a possibility of getting two heads. So, the random variable x is given by the real values 0, 1 and 2. So, a real value function which maps sample space to a real line is known as a random variable. Right? Now, we will discuss about discrete probability distribution. So, what we have is this random variable is of two types. One is discrete random variable and another is continuous random variable. Whereas, this discrete random variable will be taken for countable number of values and continuous random variable will be taken for continuous values or values in an interval. All values defined in an interval. So, in this video we are going to discuss about discrete random variable that is discrete probability distribution. So, this discrete probability distribution is defined for a discrete random variable. So, if I take x as the discrete random variable, then we, the discrete probability distribution should follow two conditions. First one is that the summation of probability of x i should be equal to 1. That is sum of the probability values corresponding to this random variable should be equal to 1. And second condition is that the probability value should lie between 0 and 1. Then the probability distribution is given by we define the random variables x, x1, x2, so on to xn. As we have discussed, that it is for a countable number of values, we will take it till xn and corresponding probability values we have to write here. 
So, the corresponding probability values P1, P2, so on to P n. So, this will give us the probability distribution of discrete random variable. Right. So, if I so, if you take the same example that is sample space for we have written for getting heads for the same sample space and same uh, random variables if you write then what we have is. So, we have taken what the random variable x as 0, 1 and 2 and we have to find out the corresponding probability values. So, what we have taken 0 is when 2 tails occur. So, probability that 2 tails occur is given by 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 which is 1 by 4. So, probability value corresponding to x equal to 0 is 1 by 4. Similarly, probability of getting x equal to 1 that is when 1 head occurs is given by 2 possibilities that is head tail plus tail head. So, this is again 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 which is equal to 2 by 4 then when probability of x equal to 2 that is when 2 heads occur. So, probability of x equal to 2 is given by which is again give the value as 2 1 by 4 right. So, now we will write down the probability distribution for this example. So, x values take 0, 1 and 2 and the corresponding probability values will be when x is 0 the probability value is 1 by 4, when x is 1 the probability value is 2 by 4 and when x is 2 the probability value is 1 by 4. And like the condition we have seen the sum of the probability value should be equal to 1. So, 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 4 by 4 which is equal to 1 right. So, this is how we write down the probability distribution for the random variable right. So, in this only if we see what is distribution function. So, what is distribution function or cumulative distribution? So, when we write the distribution function, we define distribution function, we denote distribution function by capital F of x and it is given by probability of x less than or equal to x. That is, we will find out the cumulative here, which is given by summation of which is given by summation of p of x i, where i takes values from 1 to n. That means, if I write for the same example, we have f of x as 0. So, probability of x less than or equal to x, that is when x is less than or equal to 0, the value will be 1 by 4. Next, when I take x value as 1, that is probability of x less than or equal to 1 means we have to add 1 by 4 plus 2 by 4. So, this will be equal to 3 by 4. Then, probability of x less than or equal to 2 will be 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4, which is 4 by 4, which is equal to 1. So, this is how we write down the distribution function. Now, we will see the mathematical expectations expectation of x is defined by summation of x i into p of x i, where i takes values from 1 to n. Now, if you write down the mean we have, mean is given, mean is denoted by mu and is given by expectation of x, which is equal to summation of x i into p of x i. And the variance is denoted by sigma square, expectation of x minus expectation of x whole square, which can also be written as expectation of 
x square minus mu square, where mu is mean. Right. So, math variance mu, uh, mu is given by summation of x i into p of x i, whereas sigma square is given by expectation of x square minus mu square. That means, this will be equal to summation of x i square p of x i minus mu square. We will get the mu value. We will get the mu value from here. So, substitute we will get variance and standard deviation is given by root of variance. Now, if A and B are constants, now if A and B are constants, expectation of A x plus B can be written as using the linear property expectation of A x plus expectation of B. And since A and B are constants, we can write this as A into expectation of x plus B. Right? But in when we write the variance, that is variance of A x plus B will be variance of A x plus variance of B, which will be equal to A square into variance of x plus 0, since variance of a constant is always 0. Now, we we'll look into some examples. So, what is given from a lot of 10 items containing 3 defectives, a sample of 4 items are drawn at random. Let the random variable x denote the number of defective items in the sample. Find the probability distribution of x when the sample is drawn without replacement. Right? So, he has mentioned that we have to consider without replacement. So, keeping this in mind, we will find the solution and he also asked you to find mean and variance. So, first we will write down what is given. So, he has given total 10 items are there. So, n is equal to n is equal to 10 and he has given 3 are defective. Of this, 3 are defective. So, remaining 7 are non-defective. So, first we will define the random variable x. So, x will take the random variable x as finding so getting a defective item. So, I will define the random variable x as getting defective item. So, now what will be the possibilities? When I say we get a defective item, there is a possibility that we can get no defective item, one defective. Since he has mentioned only three defective items are there, the, prob the random variable x can be written as 0 that is no defective item at all, 1 defective item, 2 maximum 3 defective items because he has given 3 defective items are there. So, random variable x is defined as 0, 1, 2 and 3 where 0 will be no defective item, 3 is maximum number of defective items. Now, we will find out the corresponding probability values. So, first when I take probability of x equal to 0 that is no defective item. We are probability of selecting no defective item and we are selecting 4 or 4 items in total. So, what we have is no defective. So, 7 all are non-defective. So, the value will be 7 C 4 by 10 C 4. Next, when I take probability of x equal to 1. So, probability of x equal to 1 that is one defective item. One defective item means we have to take one from three defective item and remaining from non-defective item. So, the value will be that is one is defective item remaining three are non-defective. Similarly, if I find out probability of x equal to 2. So, when I find probability of x equal to 2, that is 2 
defective items. So, this will be equal to 7, 2 are non defective and 2 are defective by 10 C 4 and last when probability of x equal to 3 that means we are selecting 3 defective items. So, probability of x equal to 3 will be 1 is non defective and other 3 are defective. So, 7 C 1 by 7 C 1 into 3 C 3 by 10 C 4. So, this is these are the corresponding values for the random variable 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now, we will write down the here, what is it uh, find the probability distribution of x. So, we have to write down the probability distribution for these values. So, now we will now, we will write down the probability distribution for this random variable. So, x values are 0, 1, 2 and 3 and the corresponding probability values after simplifying will be 7 c 4 by 10 c 4 will be 1 by 6, 7 c 3 into 3 c 1 by 10 c 4 will be 1 by 2 and 7 c 2 into 3 c 2 by 10 c 4 is 3 by 10 and last value will be 1 by 30 and as discussed earlier always the probability value summation should be equal to 1 right. So, the prob this is the probability distribution for the given example given problems. Now, we will find out mean and variance for this example. So, what we have is mean is given by mu which is summation of x i into p of x i where i takes values from 1 to n. So, here we have values for x from 0 to 3. So, now with this is equal to x i into p of x i that means 0 into 1 by 6 plus 1 into 1 by 2 plus 2 into 3 by 10 x into p of x i. So, 2 into 3 by 10 plus 3 into 1 by 30 which is equal to 6 by 5 that is mean value is given by 1.2. Now, we will find out the variance. Variance denoted by sigma square is equal to summation of x square p of x i minus mu square where i takes values from 1 to n that is from 0 to 3. Now, that's what. now what we have mean value as 1.2. So, here we will have 1.2 and summation of x square that means we have to square x square x values multiplied by probability values. So, first value is anyway 0, second value is 1 square into 1 by 2 plus 2 square into 3 by 10 plus 3 square into 1 by 30. minus mu that is 1.2 whole square right. So, summation of x square. So, 0 1 square into 1 by 2 plus 2 square into 3 by 10 plus 3 square into 1 by 30 minus mean value is 1.2 whole square. Now, solving this we have the value as 14 by 25 which is equal to 0 0.56. Thank you.